Hey guys, this is Nod Lambers of Invoked 101, and as you can see right here, we have the new Dark Magician support from Magical Heroes. Uh, this is actually really cool. I, we, if you haven't seen it, we on Invoked 101 actually ended up pulling uh, one Magician Souls along with a bunch of other really cool stuff. It was awesome. Ended up trading these to uh, R1 to our buddy Tyler. So he actually uh, lent me all this, uh, a lot of this stuff to do, just about all of this actually, to do the Dark Magician deck profile. Um, I just kind of mix it. So if you see that there is a difference in sleeves, it's just so I know which cards are his and which ones are mine. So that's the that's the main reason for that. Anyways, uh, before we get into the deck profile, uh, down in the description is a link to our Patreon, our Teespring, our Kofi, and our uh, Discord. So if you feel like uh, supporting the channel, down there is where to do it. Um, and before you guys ask out in the comments, yes, there uh, was there are other decks planned, such as. Um, the Elemental Hero deck, I literally just need two Liquid Soldier and that's ready. Uh, and then finish, actually finished and sleeved the Performer Pal deck uh, that I was gonna do for you guys and then uh, they released the ban list today. So I uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with uh, these guys yet, but I'll figure something out, I guess. So with that said and that out of the way, let's jump right into the monsters. So the first monster we are playing is of course two Magician Souls. Uh, I don't, like even, even with three, I don't think three is the optimal number. So its effect is you can send up to two spells or traps from your hand or field to the graveyard, draw that many cards. If this card is in your hand, you can send one level six or higher spellcaster monster from your deck to the graveyard, then activate one of these effects. Special summon this card, or send this card to the graveyard, then you can special summon one Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from your graveyard. You can only use each effect of Magician Souls once per turn. So it is pretty good, but I do think that a two is just about right because you can add this off of circle, uh, Right, I believe you can. Uh, I know that you can get. Uh, you can search this. It's not impossible to grab. Uh, moving into the not so new stuff, we do of course still have the three dark magicians because it is a dark magician deck, and I'm playing three artworks because I'm awful. Um, then uh, added back into the deck two dark magician girl. A lot of the new support actually does require her, so uh, adding two of her doesn't hurt. I think two is the optimal number. You can play one, I think, and get away with it, but I figured two, just because. After that, we are playing two Dark Magician of Dark Illusion. Uh, we are playing two Magician of Dark Illusion, which is uh, kind of stock standard at this point. Just a really good card to uh, summon on your opponent's turn. Uh, then we have three Apprentice Illusion Magician. Again, another really standard card for the deck. Uh, it's an Honest, it searches Dark Magician. It's fantastic, it's great. And then the last card we play is three Magician's Rod, which searches our Dark Magician support. Very nice card to have. Oh, that's it for the monsters. I actually, this is probably the lowest monster count I've ever had in a Dark Magician deck, but with all those spell and trap and back row support, I don't feel that you need that many monsters. Uh, moving into the back row right here, uh, we're gonna start off with the new three of Magician's Combination. This card is not once per turn, and I remember reading that and going, wow, that's crazy. So its effect is, once per turn, when a, tr when a card or effect is activated, except during the damage step, you contribute one Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl, special summon one Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from your hand or graveyard with a different name than the tributed monster, and if you do, negate that activation. If this face-up card is sent from the Spell and Trap Zone to the graveyard, you can destroy one card on the field. So this uh, combos with Magician Souls, clearly, but it also lets, basically lets you tag out uh, the uh, Dark Magician of the Dragon Knight to summon uh, Dark Magician straight from the hand, or Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight and special summon that straight from the hand. So, uh, very cool, very interesting, um, and lets you and it does set up like loops with uh, Eternal Soul, which of course is the Monster Reborn of the deck. Very nice. And then for the last trap, I'm playing uh, just two uh, Magician's Navigation, another very standard card. Some people will play three. Uh, th you could play three, especially now that we are playing the Dark Magician Girls, but I think uh, two is still correct. Uh, that's it for the traps. Moving into the spells, we of course have the other new card, two Soul Servant. Now this one I actually am pretty set on it being at two. I even talked to the to uh, Tyler who, like I said, lent us these cards, and even he was like, "Yeah, I think this is a two of." Uh, so it says place one uh, one card on top of the deck from the hand deck or graveyard. Uh, that is Dark Magician, or specifically list Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl in its text except Soul Servant. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, draw cards equal to the number of Palladium, Dark Magician, or Dark Magician Girl with different names on the field and or in the graveyards. You can only use this effect of, of a Soul Servant once per turn. So, that's pretty cool. It does let you stack your deck, which is nice, but only lets you draw 
the ones. And it stacks your deck specifically to set up a uh, dark magic circle, which is kind of like a uh, pot of uh, duality for the deck. Then we also have the other search card, this is Dark Magic Inheritance, which searches the other uh, back row for the deck. It's another back row searcher. Uh, one Illusion Magic, it's super searchable in this deck. It's so easy to get this, so uh, I felt one was, was just fine. Uh, then we have one Dark Magic Attack. This is the last specific card that Dark Magician has. Uh, you search this off of Eternal Soul, basically, and that's the main reason we play it. It hits all the back row, uh, and it's just another thing to get off of uh, Eternal Soul. After that, I am playing two I have Tamias. I have Tamias. Unfortunately, they're uh, not rarity match, but eh, whatever. Uh, this is really cool, and it becomes even more important with some of the new support. So I felt uh, that at least two of these was fine. Then uh, the last things that we run, uh, the Spellbook Engine, two Secrets, two Knowledge. I felt that was fine. And then one uh, Dark Magic Veil, which is basically a monster born for Dark Magicians. Uh, I felt that was fine as well. Uh, and that's it for the main deck, but before we do go into the uh, extra, I do want to talk about uh, Secrets of Dark Magic and why I'm not playing it. I, it. Mostly, I just mostly felt I couldn't utilize it totally. I do think that potentially one or two of these could be fine, uh, but again, that's up to you guys. So if you feel like you could play this card, uh, go for it. But it's just one of those cards that I felt like couldn't uh, fit into the deck. So setting that off to the side, we will get into the extra deck which of course features the brand new card, The Dark Magicians. Uh, this card is pretty awesome, it's very nice. It needs a Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl and a Spellcaster monster, and it says once per turn, if a spell or trap card or effect is activated, except during the damage step, you can draw one card. Then if it was a spell or trap card, uh, you can uh, set it, and if it was a trap or quick play spell, you can activate it this turn. If this card is destroyed, you can special summon both one Dark Magician and one Dark Magician Girl from your hand deck and or graveyard. This card is nuts. It's level 8 spellcaster. It's pretty awesome. It's craziness. Speaking of level 8 spellcasters, uh, uh, Dark Paladin, a very classic uh, Dark Magician fusion uh, who negates stuff by discarding. Very nice. And then we also have Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, of course, the main guy who you're going to be using uh, Magician's Combination with. Very awesome card, protects the back row. Fantastic. 3000 attack is also nothing to laugh at. Then the last level 8 spellcaster we have is Dark Calvary. Now this thing came out in dual power and it's pretty awesome. It needs Dark Magician and one Warrior. And it says it gains 100 attack for each spell trap card on the field and or in the graveyard. If this card attacks defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. And when a card or effect is activated that targets a card on the field, quick effect, discard a card and negate the activation if you do destroy it. So it's kind of like a modern Dark Paladin, uh, but just a little bit diff uh, different. Uh, I think all three of these, all four of these, whoops, bump the camera. All four of these are pretty awesome and very good in their own right. Uh, we have two Ebon Illusion Magician, uh, just as our rank sevens. Uh, then we also have one Big Eye to steal stuff, one Red Eyes Flare Metal, one uh, Charge Gaia because it does piercing, and one uh, Norito, the Moral Leader, because we can make rank sixes and this thing is uh, perfectly fine. You can also slap Ebon Illusion on top of this. Uh, that's it for the extra. I don't think I'm playing a full extra in here. Like, I'm pretty sure that wasn't 15. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cards. Uh, I don't think... Uh, you can play Ebon High. I don't think that there's necessarily anything uh, that's actually, like, that Ebon High does that anything, something else doesn't do. So uh, I want to... I don't worry about it too much. But, yeah, that that is it for the deck. Um... I know I kind of ran through this, but Dark Magician is one of those decks that a lot of people, it's been around long enough, a lot of people already know what it does. It's mostly just the new cards and ratios. This is one of those decks that's very, that uh, I didn't think was ever going to get more support, like, as quickly as it did, and then it got a ton of support that was pretty insane. Um, that being, like, Magician Souls and the Dark Magicians. So, uh, this... Uh, if you are looking to pick up this deck, it is definitely one of those decks that is going to set you back quite a few bucks. I believe Magician Souls is almost $100 now. Uh, the Dark Magicians, I believe, is $20, and Magician's Combination is sitting at like $10. So this is a, it's a very expensive deck to get now. Uh, but this is how I feel Dark Magician is going to be moving forward. Maybe there's going to be, maybe you could play a third Magician Souls if you, if you really want to, but it's not going to really do a lot for you currently. Uh, anyways... I'd like to thank you guys for watching this, uh, for the checking out my deck profile, for watching this and sticking through it. Uh, again, down in the description, there's a link to our Teespring, our Kofi, our Patreon, and our Discord. So if you feel like supporting the channel or anything like that, check it out down in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.
Thanks for watching.